What's up guys, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to show you how I color grade my drone footage. But before I start this video, if you want to improve your videography skills, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be coming out with a lot more tutorials and also other cinematic videos that can inspire you and as well help you improve your videography skills. So hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications so you can be notified when I upload my newest tutorials. Okay, let's get into this. So I have this shot where I was in Switzerland and it looks freaking awesome. You got the mountains in the back, got the clouds. It's just so epic. But we're gonna change up, change up the color a little bit. So I'm gonna hit the new item icon and I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. Hit OK. And what adjustment layer does is whatever you apply to it is gonna be applied to beneath it. In this case, we're gonna apply a LUT to it. Okay, so drag it onto the timeline there. And then now we're gonna go over to the effects tab and we're gonna type in Lumetri. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna bring up all of Adobe's LUTs that are already in the system. You can go get LUTs online, but sometimes that's a hassle. So I loved just using these free LUTs from Adobe and they work great. There's a lot of different styles. For example, we have the cinematic. I use these a lot, uh, very contrasted. Then we have the film stocks, those are great too. You have the monochromes, those are black and white. And then we have the speed looks, and those have a lot of vibrant colors, which are really great to use as well. So let's just throw on this Cinespace one. So you just drag it on that adjustment layer, and boom, it's pretty strong. Way too strong. So to fix that, you're going to go over to the opacity. Just play around. So maybe I'll just type in 25%. That looks pretty good. Let's look at the difference between that and the normal. So it really is It's contrasted pretty cinematic. Maybe let's turn up a little bit to 40%. That looks really good. All right, now let's try a different one. So I'm just going to erase that off of my adjustment layer. I'm going to drop in this other one. That looks pretty cool. This is a uh, Fiji 5000. It looks okay. Now let's try out one of these speed looks. Dang, that looks freaking good. This is retro brown, and that looks amazing. Like, look at that. It like brings out the mountains in the back. It really goes well with that brown mountain there. So once you've done that, you can do several more things. We're going to go back to the project tab and we're going to drag over a new adjustment layer, drag it on top. And then once you do that, you're going to go into the effects tab and you're going to type in Lumetri color and you're going to drag that Lumetri color over to the adjustment layer. And this is just going to allow you to tweak it. Um, I'm going to mess around with the saturation a little bit, see what looks good. Um, you can play around with the blacks. And then you can play around with exposure, make it a little brighter. But this one looks so good that I'm not even really going to mess around with much of it because it just looks good. Like this clip looks awesome. You guys can obviously play around with the different LUTs, see how they look for your particular footage. This one just happened to work really great with this shot in Switzerland. But to end things off, we're going to go over to the color mat. We're just going to make the bars widescreen. So you're just going to so you're going to go down to the new item icon. You'll hit color mat, make sure it's black, hit OK. Then you're gonna drag it on top, and then you're gonna adjust the height. I usually add a thousand, then I subtract a thousand. So fifteen forty and then negative four sixty and throw it on the clip, and that's just gonna make it look really nice and cinematic. So let's take a look at the shot with and without. Okay, so that looks freaking awesome. Looks really great. It's just so epic, man. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more tutorials and a lot more cinematic videos. So if you want to up your videography game, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Anyways, it's Ryan Shirley, and we'll see you next time.